All right, Shalom Amakim. First and foremost, I'd like to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Akahakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone who really teach well, and salutations to the brothers that are pushing out this word in truth and in sincerity. All right, in this video, uh, I want to name it, um, you know, the Lord went amongst the Gentiles for Israel's sake, you know, or something to that effect. All right, because a lot uh, uh, the lie that's been pushed on and uh, throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, by the hand of Christianity and Catholicism is that the Lord did away with his people and that now it's open for everybody. You know, anybody can be saved. But what they fail to recognize is that one of the major end time prophecies, it, uh, um, the, the Bible talks about a second exodus. All right, where the Lord is going to deliver his people, Israel, all right, from among from the land of the north and from all the lands, whether he went, uh, all the lands uh, in the world where, where, where he sent the Israelites, man. All right. Where they were scattered to. All right. And, you know, that's the reason why uh, the word went out to the whole world. Because guess what? The Israelites were scattered throughout the four uh, 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 throughout the four corners of the world. All right. You know, and, and what a lot of people get hung up about is this, um, you know, Revelation seven and verse uh, verse nine. I'll read it real quick. It says after this, I beheld, you know, and there's other scriptures they get they get uh, caught up into, which like which goes into the, the Gentile scriptures, you know, where. Um, you know, the Lord, um, uh, um, you know, uh, speaks well towards the Gentiles, right? You know, speaks uh, salvation, you know, towards the Gentiles. But what they fail to realize is that those dispersed Israelites were considered Gentiles, man. You know, you know, um, you know, they lost their, their heritage. They took on the customs of those Gentile nations, you know, um, but guess what? Their bloodline went back to Israel, you know, and they as the prophecy uh, uh, reads, which we're going to read. All right. You know, the Lord promised that he would bring them back from all these lands. All right. So I'll, I'll read it. Um, uh, I'll read here Revelation seven and nine. Um, just uh, for one example of, you know, how these people get mixed up and they get caught up and, uh, you know, thrown off. All right. Uh, this is Revelation 7 and 9. It says, After this I beheld and lo a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds and peoples and tongues, stood before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. So they'll say, oh, you know, you see that? It's from all nations and all kindreds and people. All right. And tongues and stood before, you know, they stood the throne They before the throne and they had a white robes on, you know. But, you know, the, the, they'll, they'll read this and still tell you that the Lord did away with his people. But right before that, you know, um, verse four, I, I, I hit the point. It said, you know, it goes into 12,000 out of each each tribe of the 12 tribes of Israel being delivered, being sealed to be saved. So how did the Lord, you know, uh, uh, um you know, forsake his people if he's name, numbering them 12,000 out of each tribe. All right. It's, it clearly shows out of, in the last book of, of the Bible that the Lord still has favor unto the, 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 uh, these people, man. And you can actually read it, you know, um, you know, I won't go through it, uh, but, you you know, you start at verse four all the way to verse eight, you know, names the 12 tribes of Israel. And, uh, you know, these were sealed 12,000 out of each tribe. All right. So it shows the favoritism still there. All right. So how did the Lord, you know, do away with them? That alone, this alone cuts their doctrine, saying that the, the Lord, um, you know, um, you know, did away with his people, you know. And even the fact that there's exactly 12,000 out of each tribe shows you that the Lord is in control of this, man. He shows mercy. On, on, on who who he wants to show mercy as it is written and who he doesn't show mercy to he doesn't 
So, and guess what? The Gentile nations, the natural Gentiles who are not Israelites by blood, have not uh, aren't going to get that mercy, man. All right. Revelations two and twenty six. You can read it for yourself. Prophesies about uh, uh, about the slavery of the other nations, man. Read it for yourself, you know. But for but for this uh, lesson, we're gonna go into how the Lord prophesied that He would grab the Israelites from all, from all nations and all tongues. All right, as we read here in verse nine. All right, so we're gonna hit straight to the point. This is Jeremiah sixteen. Um, I'm gonna hit the point. Uh, Uh, I'm going to start at 12. Jeremiah 16 and 12, it says, And ye have done worse than your fathers. All right. And, um, so lucky. If we start at verse, uh, if we just jump up to verse 9, you know, uh, uh, you know that these words are addressed to Israel. It says, For thus saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, behold, I will cause you to cease out of this place in your eyes. All right. And in the days, the voice of mirth and the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom and the, the voice of the bride. All right. So he's talking to Israel, man. You know, he said that he was going to take the joy away from them, you know, and you can and you guys can keep reading, man. You know, um, matter of fact, I'm just going to read straight through it. It says, and this shall come to pass. It's a lot it, man. It's very one with the spirit one, man. You know, got uh, um, got to follow the spirit, man. It says, and it shall come to pass when thou shalt show this people all these words and they shall say unto thee, wherefore had the Lord Yahweh pronounced all this great evil against us or what is our iniquity or what is our sin that we have committed against the Lord our God? It says, then shall thou say unto them, because your fathers have forsaken me, saith the Lord, and have walked after other gods and served them and have worshiped them and have not forsake and have forsaken me and have not kept my law. And have done worse than your fathers, for behold, ye walk every one after the imaginations of his evil heart, that they may not hearken unto me. All right, and, and this is what these uh, false churches, you know, will say. Oh well, it's because Israel went against their God. That's why it's opened up to the whole world, right? And yes, we did go against them. You know, he did. Uh, uh, um, you know, well. Uh, um, you know, uh, we did, we did go after, uh, other gods and look, this is the punishment. Verse 13 says, therefore, will I cast you out of this land unto the land, into a land that ye know not, neither ye nor your fathers. And there shall ye serve other gods day and night where I will not show you favor. All right. That was the judgment, man. We were given unto these other gods. He gave us over to these false gods, man, you know? But get what he say? He was gonna take the the joy and the mirth away from our eyes, man. All right, and you know that was the judgment. All right, but ultimately, look at what was gonna happen. Verse fourteen. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. This is mystery Babylon. All right. This is um, North America, the United States, and from all, and this is the point, and from all the lands where he had driven them and will bring them again into the their land that I give unto their fathers. All right. So there you go. Clear as day. Even though the Lord, we went off, we, we, we sinned against our fathers, we, uh, you know, Israel went after uh, uh, other gods. He, he, he judged them. He gave them, you know, he, 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 um, scattered them among all the nations, gave them up to these false gods. All right. But ultimately what is he going to do? He's still going to deliver them. So this goes against this, um, false Christianity that they're teaching you. All right. Keep in mind, this false Christianity was forced onto you behind the edge of the sword, man. You know, but they want to talk about peace and love for everybody. When, they pushed this doctrine unto you. They were killing you. All right. But the Bible says otherwise, man. The Bible says that the Israelites are going to have a great, a second great deliverance from the land of the north and from all the lands, whether he, he, dro he drove them. Man. 
That's why the word was preached amongst these other nations, man. Let's hit let's hit let's hit it on the head. This is Tobit 13 and 1. Then Tobit wrote a prayer of rejoicing and said, Blessed be God that liveth forever, and blessed be his kingdom, for he doth scourge and have mercy, and he leadeth down to hell and bringeth up again. Neither is there any that can, that, uh, that can avoid his hand. All right. It says, Confess him before the Gentiles, ye children of Israel, for he hath scattered us among them. And so Tobit is now talking to Israel. It says, There declare his greatness and extol him before all the living, for he is our Lord and he is the God, our Father forever, man. So those are all personal pronouns, man. You know, the Lord is the power of Israel, man. The true Hebrew Israelites. All right. It says, and he will scourge us for our iniquities, you know, and he will have mercy again and will gather us out of all nations among whom he has scattered us. So, yes, he did chastise us. He did scourge us for our iniquities. Yet the Lord said he would have mercy on us again. And gather us from all these nations. That's why in Revelation 7 and 9, you read that there was, you know, an innumerable multitude, you know, this, uh, uh, from all kindreds and all tongues and peoples, man. Because guess what? Israel was scattered among them, man. You know, the Lord has mercy on who, whom he would have mercy on, man. All right. The the, the number is, is a set number. All right. You can't make yourself... Uh, 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 of um, of those being saved, man. Same way you can't make yourself not of those men. <laughs> it just is what it is, man. All right, so here goes another example. This is the book of Acts chapter 2 and verse 5. It says, and, and there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. So there were Jews, which the word Jews goes back to the uh, uh comes from the word judah which is one of the tribes of israel all right and you know during the t this time during the time of acts you know which is during the rulership of the uh, of the roman empire uh m you know the majority of those that were still in israel was the southern kingdom which makes up uh judah benjamin and levi which is why they were called jews all right but out of every nation you found a jew all right because guess what? The, the Lord has scattered them among them, man. All right. And that's what it was, man. You know, and, you know, the, the, these uh, points, man, they're, they're very important, you know, and you can't ignore, man. You know, the, these these um, false doctrines, man, they want to open it up for everybody else. But that's not what the Bible says, man. You know, if, if, if we went with the notion of what they teach you know, that now it's open for everybody, you know, then, then, um, then what would happen to that great deliverance Exodus part two, you know, and that, you know, they, they're, they're, you know, they're ignoring it, you know, clear as day, ignoring it. And the Lord said that everything, you know, these prophecies, they're going to be fulfilled, man. All right. They're not 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 one of them is going to be left unfulfilled, man, because the Lord, the word of the Lord doesn't go out void. All right. This is the book of Matthew, chapter five and verse 17. This is in the red letter. So, you know, it's the son of the most high saying it. All right. It's Yahweh Shai. All right. Not Jesus Christ. All right. It says, think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. All right. He's come to fulfill. All right. It says, for verily, I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled, man. So these prophecies have to be fulfilled, man. Plain as day out of the wor words of, of the son. And, and what the Christian and Catholic Church has done is, is they're negate, trying to negate the Jeremiah prophecy. All right. By saying that now everybody can be saved. No. What about the Lord delivering Israel from among all the nations? But guess what? They're not going to explain that to you. Because they're not coming out of these these pages, man. All right? They're coming out of their own vain imaginations, man. All right? Um, 
here I'll read uh, I'll read Revelations 19 for you guys uh, because you know prophecies that's the testimony of Yahweh Shai whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ all right that's the testimony of him you know so for you to you know ignore one of the prophecies or say that it's of none effect now you're you're denying the, the testimony of, of our Lord man all right this is Revelation 19 and 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant, and of and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship Yahweh, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. Alright, and that prophecy in Jeremiah 16 is it, you know, has to come to pass, man. You can't just say it's open for everybody now. When the Lord said he was gonna gather everybody from among the nations now, that's why we were meant well that's why the word was sent among all the nations to gather the, the that el, that elect remnant that was among them all right you know and also you know to give the judgment that's going to come to these other nations which is slavery read revelations 2 and 26 all right i'll finish it off with this last verse here this is malachi 3 and 6 it says for i am the lord yahweh I change not, therefore ye sons of Jacob, which Jacob's name was changed to Israel. It says, therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. So Israel is not going to be done away with. All right. We read it in Revelation. He still gave 12,000 out of each tribe. How are they done away with? All right. The Lord's telling you straight up that he doesn't change. That's why they're not going to get done away with. That's why they're not going to get consumed. Because the Lord... God, Yahweh, is the power of Israel. Thus say it, the Bible. All right, so I'll leave, I'll leave y'all brothers with that. Lord willing, this was an edifying lesson. I want to end, as always, by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Kodash, double honors unto the apostles of Great Millstone, who ruling teach well, and salutations to the brothers, pushing forth this word in truth and in sincerity. Until the next one, I tell you, Shalom, and as always, Abad Babal.